Welcome to a rock science demo. In this video, we will be exploring the set as external function for slide 3 and RS3. The external volume encompasses the extents of all model geometry that you wish to analyze. We'll be discussing four methods that are available to create external volumes. Create external from surface. Create external box. Set as external. And add to external. We will begin in slide 3 by creating an external from a surface. This is the terrain that we want to create the external volume from. Select the entity and navigate to the geometry menu. Select create external from surface. A dialog should appear and will give you the approximate depth that will be extruded from the entity. Should you want to change this depth, you may preview your changes at any time using the preview option. After selecting OK, the box will be locked as we will now have one external entity for the model. We can clear the external at any time by selecting the external volume, navigating to the geometry menu, and selecting clear external. Staying in slide 3, we'll now make an external volume by creating an external box. Have your entity open and navigate to the geometry menu. Select Create External Box. We will adjust the size to be slightly smaller than the extent of the surface imported. This is important, as surfaces should extend outside the initial external box to ensure correct geometric intersection in the following steps. Now, when we divide all, the surface will be intersected with the external box. Staying in slide 3, we've imported a pre-existing geometric entity that we want to set up as a model. We would like to set one of the entities as external. You may select a single object, navigate to the geometry menu, and click Set as External. Now, when we divide all, the surface will be intersected with the external box. We'll now move on to RS3 where we've imported a terrain that we want to add an embankment on top of. The terrain is an extruded polygon. We'll now select our second entity which is our embankment. Notice that the terrain entity is locked because it is our external volume that we want to add the embankment to. Navigate to the geometry menu and select add to external. The second entity is now linked with the external volume but still remains an independent entity that can be defined. This concludes our demo. Please check our playlist for more videos and demos.